Good morning, guys. Welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles and another episode of Hanks TV. I'm Jeff Hankins, and today what we're going to do here in the shop is we're going to try to machine this muzzle brake that's been melanite coated. Now, I've been told that melaniting creates a very hard surface on the exterior of the metal, and in this case, it would also be on the interior because this whole muzzle brake has been melanited, so the inside and the outside should be hard, and we're gonna find out today because I've gotta machine this brake out a little bigger so that it will accept a powder funnel like this. The customer saw these powder funnels, and he wanted me to make his brake work with one of my powder funnels. And I told him to send it to me. All I needed was the brake and a measurement on the tenon length so that I can get the stem of the powder funnel to the correct length. These stems are made to a length to where when you insert that into the muzzle brake, it's only a few thousandths of an inch away from touching the crown. That way all your powder and everything will fall right straight down the bore of the barrel and you won't be losing any of it in there. The way this funnel works is you can insert it into the muzzle brake and you never take the brake off of your rifle. You just put that funnel in, put your gunpowder in, drop your bullet down through the funnel, and then you can ram it down, pull your ramrod out, pull your funnel out, and you're ready to shoot. And if you notice, I put these little orange lanyards on the end of these powder funnels so that it's visible and you hopefully you'll see it before you shoot the funnel out of the out of the muzzle brake i know there's a couple guys that have said they've actually shot their funnels out of the brake because they forgot to take them off that's definitely not a good thing to do but this uh this is a harold's brake it's 416 stainless steel it's been melanited and it was put on by another gunsmith somewhere and it's got the the exit hole is 480,000, so we've got to open that up 20 thousandths of an inch in order to make this stem slide through. If I can open it up, then I'm going to make a funnel. If for some reason we cannot open this break up, if the melaniting is so hard that we can't open it up or we run this part trying to open it up, then I'm just going to have to make him a new muzzle break to fit the barrel. So we're gonna go over to the lathe and get started and see if I can open this up by uh, 20 thousandths and then we'll make a funnel to fit the brake. Okay guys, we're down here at the lathe. I have put the muzzle brake in the four jaw chuck and I indicated it in to within one tenth of one thousandth. So we've got it spinning perfectly true and you may be able to see this aluminum collar that I put around my part here. I put an aluminum collar on everything that I turn if you don't want vice jaws marks on it. I keep a bunch of these things laying up on top of the machine here. I've got them on all different sizes for different barrel diameters. So you always want to put an aluminum bushing underneath your barrel or you're going to have jaw marks on it if you don't do that. I've seen a lot that comes in here for rework that's got jaw marks on it. The cutter we're going to try to use on this is a little Micro 100. It's a carbide, solid carbide boring bar. Now I only need to take 20 thousandths total off of this diameter. I'm going to go in and I'm just going to touch off on the inside of the part and I'm going to set a zero and I'm going to take maybe two or three thousandths of an inch and see if I can cut that much material. If this stuff is as hard as they say it is, we may not be able to cut it even using carbide. But if I can get two or three thousandths off of it, maybe break through the, uh, the hard coating, then I'm just going to run a chucking reamer, a half inch chucking reamer through there to get a perfect half inch diameter hole. So let's see what happens and uh, hope for the best.
back this tool out of the way so you guys can see in there. Um, to me, it looks like it's cutting pretty easy. It cut right through it, took the took the black finish off. I don't see any any damage to the cutter at all. So maybe this stuff ain't as hard as they say it is. I'm gonna go in and take off three more thousands. And then we're gonna try to run the reamer through it. See if I can get a high speed steel reamer to go through there. <laughs> Okay, fellas, I do not believe that this is any harder to machine than it would have been if it wasn't melanited. So I don't know that that melanite really puts a, a hard coating on there. And if it does, it sure ain't very deep. So we're going to try to run a half-inch chucking reamer through it now. And if we can get that to slide through there, we'll be in good shape. We'll be able to make our... our um, our powder funnel. I'll put plenty of oil up in there. A little oil on my reamer. We'll slow my machine down. You always want to run real slow speeds when you're using a reamer. Okay, and there you guys can see the chips on the reamer. That's all we took out of there. I just left about two thousandths of an inch to clean up with the reamer. I took the rest of it out with the boring bar. And the boring bar did not reach all the way through the brake. It got almost all the way through. We had about 125 thousandths to clean up with nothing but the reamer and it seemed to me like it just cut right on through there. I didn't hear no loud squeal and pitch noise when we put the, the uh, boring bar up through the hole, and that's another thing that would be a dead giveaway. If your part's really hard, your reamer will squeal, or your boring bar will squeal. And we didn't get any squealing noises out of this, so I believe we're in pretty good shape now. I'm just gonna go in here and put a slight little 45 right on the end just to break the uh, the edge right there and then we'll be ready to take that out and make the funnel for it Okay guys, that's done, and it's, I don't think it's any harder than it would have been had it not had any melanite coating on it. So, it doesn't look to me like it's harder. Now, 
if you notice that I also put you guys notice here that I also put a layer of masking tape on the muzzle brake that's just a little extra added protection to the part to keep it from picking up the aluminum color there because the aluminum will turn black parts silver and you have to scrub the aluminum off it just it mats in there and any of you guys that have done this knows but you can see by taking off the tape the the chips right here that is stuck to the tape it cleaned it up there pretty good we got some chips down in here I don't think we're going to have a problem we can we finish this up and send this muzzle brake out probably today so just peel off your your masking tape and it's good to go so now we're going to make a funnel okay guys we're back we've got the funnel made um, here's the funnel that I made for the the brake that had been melanited this is going to be shipped back out to my customer today here's the muzzle brake that we started with earlier this morning and you can see how these fit in there they actually have a like almost a friction fit so that it lines up perfect with the bore of your rifle barrel these funnels are rifle specific so what funnel fits your gun may not fit your buddy's gun it just depends on the tenon length of the barrel and the actual overall length of the muzzle brake. Between these two, there's about 40 thousandths difference. So they're actually pretty close. A lot of them can vary a hundred thousandths. It just depends on how long a tenon the, um, the gunsmith cuts on the barrel itself, how much he faces off of the muzzle brake, because you can shorten that brake by facing off material right here, bringing that brake down shorter. Um, so it does vary a little bit so these are rifle specific and don't get them mixed up if you and your buddies got one and that's what this guy here is a friend of a customer of mine that's got one of my guns and that's the reason he likes this system and he knows it works pretty well because his friend's sitting over there on the bench and he's loading them right up real easy and this guy's on the bench taking his muzzle brake off every time so he wanted me to um, do this to his gun like I did to his buddy's gun that bought one for me so now he's in business I'm gonna box this up and ship it back to him today he may have it by the end of the week and him and his buddy can go to the range and they'll be able to load and shoot them just as fast as each other wants to so just wanted to show you a little bit of this guys about the the muzzle brake and the funnels and I thought it would be a good video to do on a melanited muzzle brake because we weren't even for sure that we could cut this material but I didn't have any problem whatsoever cutting this material the carbide boring bar went right up through there the, um, the chucking reamer went right up through took the material out we didn't have any problem so I'm not a hundred percent believer that the melanite makes this metal any harder I think all they're doing is changing the color but uh, as far as making it hard I don't see where it gets any harder than it was beginning so that's going to conclude this video guys if you need anything from me here at Hankins Custom Rifles don't hesitate to give me a call you can look at my website that's HankinsCustomRifles.com visit my message board that's hanksmessageboard.freeforms.net. You guys can join in there, um, jump in with some of the conversations that's going on, a lot of good talking going on there, a lot of guys that like to shoot these guns, and a lot of experience on that board. So if you you got a question, you can always ask it there at Hank's Message Board, and somebody with the right experience and knowledge can come on and give you a good answer. So that's a good place to be. Uh, and um, I also want to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channels. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And every time I put on a video, you'll get a little notification saying that I just uploaded a new video and you can go watch it. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. Join Hank's Message Board. Visit my website. 
Until next time, guys, y'all have a great day and get out there and have some fun. We'll see you later.